Well, doesn't this feel weird? Bizarre. <laughs> Good morning. Yay. When did I last vlog, Blake? time I picked the camera up was when I when we first got the keys and I showed you around I've still not even looked at that footage or edited it yet because we've got no internet and we're not getting internet for another two weeks oh so yeah it's a bit of a nightmare there is an engineer coming out today because all of the wiring is already in place we're hoping they can just kind of switch it on, but they need someone to come and have a look. But this guy isn't the engineer that comes and digs underground and stuff. So if he can just switch it on, he will. But I've got a feeling that we're going to have to wait until we actually have the official date that they're going to come and dig up the road. So I'm having the coffee. It was all moved. We've moved into our new house. I've probably got so much to catch you up on, but I just, my mind won't function at the minute the house is upside down and when I say upside down I mean upside down like the girls haven't even come here yet because their bedroom is just the dumping ground where we put everything anyway I'll, I'll come and explain everything and how we ended up moving in in a rush so we didn't put everything in the correct rooms and everything's ended up all over breakfast I'm gonna have think Greek yogurt and granola. I've got so much catching up to do. Why is I've got so much catching up to do on people's YouTube videos? I've literally I've just not not been watching. What I have watched is the secret lives of Mormon wives. Oh my goodness! I was hooked. It's wild. They are wild. I'd only ever heard of Taylor before from TikTok and a little bit of that scandal and stuff. But wow. And then I watched the podcast, is it Nick Vale, his podcast had them on. The first episode, I was like, oh, nah, I don't do like reality TV, it's just not for me. I've, I've never watched any other like, you know, Housewives of this or that, or I've never watched any of them. But yeah, that it just intrigued me and yeah, but we need a season two. <laughs> so apart from watching that, I've not watched anything and it catch up with everybody's YouTube that I normally watch. Um, I've literally just been, during the day, I've been trying to sort bits out. And then at night, I've just been, I've been shattered. We've got to pay for our wheelie bins. I don't understand, like, we've got none. It's a new development. You'd think, would you not get your first ones free? It's not like I've lost a bin or anything. You get your recycle bin free, thanks. But then we had to pay £27 for a, like, here it's black bin, which is, like, your household waste. And then we had to pay for a green bin, which like does your um, grass. She says, oh, you don't have to have a green bin. I'm like, well, where am I going to put it? <laughs> so yeah, we had to pay like 50 odd quid for two bins. Crazy. But anyway, um, breakfast. Still haven't got everything from the storage unit. And one thing that is still in the storage are mirrors. I've literally got no mirrors, not a mirror. So I'm using like my tiniest little you know from like your blusher your makeup like I'm using that so it's not good I can't I don't know I think there might be a few more car loads there we've got so much stuff the other house even though this house has got another bedroom the other house that we was in were bigger the other house had more storage and we can't use the attic in this house which is so annoying, the amount of stuff we had in the attic, obviously all of the Christmas stuff. Then we had all of Corbin's old like Imaginex toys and we're looking like we're probably going to have to sell them. We really wanted to keep hold of them, but yeah, it looks like we're probably just going to have to get rid of so much now because we've just got no storage. We've got like a cupboard down here that is already rammed <laughs> and then a cupboard upstairs and they're not very big and then that, that's it, that's all we've got. Whereas in the other house we had the attic and then we stored a lot of things in the like we had a big garage outside and then we had that long um like corridor down the side of the house with like another place to 
It's like there's just nowhere. I can't believe we can't use the attic. Apparently in New Village you can't use the attic. Well, not here anyway. But I just thought I'd show you. <laughs> I bought some things off TikTok shop and like the sizes are just completely white. Just some bits for cleaning. I needed a bucket, like just a bucket that I could fill with water, washing up liquid and bleach and just wipe around areas. Do you know what I mean? Or like Dettol and what have you. <laughs> it's massive. Honestly, there's some things that I thought were smaller that were that are, that are massive, and there's some other things that I bought that I thought were bigger that are tiny. Totally misjudged it, but I got this set, and it had a bucket in it, a little jug, and then like a stepper. You know, obviously to stand on, so you can like clean higher up. This is the standard thing. It's huge, and it doesn't even fold away. Like my mum's got a little stepper thing and she can like fold it up. I didn't expect this to be that big. It is huge. Is that? I mean, it'll come in handy. It's just where do I store it? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's great. It's just... <laughs> I needed one about half the size. Like, I literally want this to walk around the house with. I'm not going to be able to pick it up. I mean, this is nearly as big as you, look at that. I need a smaller bucket that I can just carry around and and clean with. And then it comes with a tiny little jug. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'll use that for, but the little jug will always come in handy, won't it? But that's it, I think it will. It will only cheat. And then I got a jug. For the fridge, I thought I'll fill it with water, but it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit in the fridge, I filled it all up with water. I got my bottled water, filled it up. It's too wide for the door bit where you put your milk. <laughs> and then it's too tall. I mean, I could take a shelf out, but I need the shelf because of like the food and stuff. So yeah, that won't fit. Are you ready for a laugh? I don't know if the size of these are gonna show properly, <laughs> but I got some bins and I thought, one for the kitchen and then a couple just for the bathroom. This is tiny, hang on a minute. Let me just compare it with a can of pop. It's not far off. The can of pop is nearly as tall as the bin. That's how small this is. I mean, it were only a couple of quid, it weren't expensive. But, I mean, it, it, I've, <laughs> I've put it in the bathroom anyway, I've got two. So I put one down here, one upstairs, and they'll just they'll just do for now. Yeah, I wasn't expecting them to be that small, absolutely tiny. And um, this is the one that I thought were a bit bigger for the kitchen, and this is this is going in the bathroom. <laughs> it's tiny. I mean, this to be fair, it'd probably be a decent size for a bathroom. So this is going to go in like the main bathroom upstairs, and then this is going in the little toilet downstairs and then I've got another one of these for our own suite but yeah I don't know why but on the pictures this looked like it were going to be a full length for the kitchen it's not so yeah that that were all fun oh and I've got like a little fruit bowl type thing I keep most of my fruit in the fridge um and so I've just been putting bananas in it never mind I'm sure for the whole thing I only paid about 30 I can't remember, but I know I didn't pay a lot for them. And they do them in all different colours. They do like grey, pink, all different ones. So I think I'm going to go on and get a bucket that's half the size. I've been talking for eight minutes. What the actual hell? Under the sink is leaking. Now yesterday there was some wet under there. I thought it was like a cleaning product that had spilled, but yeah, it's definitely not. And I uh, I pulled this out and this happened. And then right, I found a use for my jug for now. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get that sorted. I've literally just been doing nothing. <laughs> you know when you've got that much to do, it's just, too overwhelming and I don't know where to start. I need to sit and I need to plan. I need pen and paper or get my notes and plan what I'm gonna do because oh, 
I just honestly, I don't know where to start or, or what to do. I've reported the leak under the sink. Our bins haven't come yet, so we've literally got rubbish everywhere. I've got two bin liners of household rubbish. I've got a bag full of recycle, and then I've got down the side of the uh, Mortal Kombat machine, I've got like a load of boxes that I've flattened for recycle as well. We just like over and with everything and I just thought the Virgin Media guy had turned up to see if he could sort the internet out earlier which we don't think he can because it's not a wire when Davies looked down the street yeah um, it doesn't look like it's gonna be as simple as we thought thought it were him it weren't it were a guy that has <laughs> delivered our sofa but quite nice um, just I don't know it's, we've not had one like that before it's not like uh, we'll put it up and I'll show you in a couple of days. Uh, he, um, he was like, I've got a heavy parcel for you. I'm thinking, oh, the Virgin Media guy. And anyway, sorry, I've got the dryer on. But yeah, turns out it's him. So, I've got now, there's just shit everywhere here. And then I've got a chair that I'm gonna do something with as well. But yeah, this is the room. There's still stuff everywhere. We've got the TV from my mum's now. Brought that yesterday. But yeah, there's just still like loads of stuff. That I washed all them throws that were in there and put them back. But there's the curtains that I need to wash and put up. This is, well, these are the rug doctors that I've got absolutely nowhere to put. And then this is Corbin's table but the back fell off in transportation but we don't really need the top bit so we're going to get rid of this top bit and he's just going to have the bottom bit for the drawers and then to put his stuff on the kitchen is the only place that has some kind of order and that is it's still getting a little bit messy it's the only place that's got a bit of order so we're literally living in the kitchen and then going up to bed because we've had no sofa or anything in there so we've got all the chairs into the kitchen We've got like David's table there, um, like his computer table, because he's going to be doing his gaming and everything there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we've just been living in here. It's fine, and I don't mind. I actually quite like it in here because then you've got the patio doors to the back. It's the updates. No update. I need to get on with stuff. I think what I'm going to do at some point soon when I get my arse into gear is go up to the girls' room and because that's ended up being the dumping ground for everything and start getting all of the toys out that Blake's and putting them in her room. They're not all going to fit but then at least we know what we're working with and what storage we need to get and then um, Corbin stuff in his room so then at least everything is in the correct room, do you know what I mean? Because at the minute everything is stuffed in the girls room because when we first moved in, hang on a minute, I've just turned that dryer off because that's going to annoy me. But I bet all you can hear now is Blake's um, thing. Um, we got the keys last Wednesday. And then on Thursday, no, we got the keys on Wednesday. And then I think David managed to get the work van. Yeah, Wednesday night for a few hours. And then Thursday morning for a few hours. And if we didn't get it all done then, we'd have to wait until this week to actually start moving stuff in and like, when you've got your keys to your new house in your hand and you're like, it just seems silly it being sat here for near enough a week when we, you know, we could have started moving it, but we only had a really short time frame. And there's no point paying for a removal van when David can use the work van. So we literally like just brought everything in and shoved it all in. We didn't like put it in room by room. We literally just shoved everything in the living room and the kitchen area yeah everything in beds everything just all came in and all the way this downstairs area you couldn't move so then we tried to then sort the kitchen so this was kind of a livable area and then it was the kitchen no and then it was the living room that were literally from floor to near the ceiling were full of, you couldn't get in the room at all so then the other day i went through I say I went through everything, I basically moved everything from the living room upstairs to the girls room because I thought they're not here at the minute so that gives us a couple more week to sort it all out and it's out of the way, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like I can shut that door and then it's not in the living room 
So that's that, that's where we're at. Like we've got Corbin's bed up, we've got Blake's bed up, even though she's sleeping with us at the minute. Yeah, so now we totally underestimated the no carpet situation because there's no carpet in the house apart from in the kitchen and in the bathrooms. So living room hallway down here isn't that bad because it's like concrete and there's nothing on it. We, it seems fine, but then, and the stairs isn't too bad, but upstairs, it's like bored with like loads of plaster. You can imagine like from them drilling and from all different things, it's like got dust. And I've tried to, it, it's just a nightmare. There's just layers and layers of it. So when you're walking around, like obviously we're having to keep our shoes on and we're all wearing Crocs. It's just transferring onto everything. Um, so that is our top priority to get, um, well I say carpets, we're just gonna get vinyl for now because we've got a smelly dog and kids and then I'm a bit clumsy so I'd rather just have final all the way through it's cheaper we can get it done quicker David and his dad are going to try and do it I think if we just go quick room by room so I think living room we'll do first and then we'll try and do some rooms upstairs but yeah that is our top priority is to get floor in it it'd have been you know it'd be ideal in an ideal world wouldn't it to you know you've got your new house and then get flooring before you bring everything in but that it just wasn't an option for us we didn't have the funds anyway um and then when we're living at my mum's house and we were playing for storage which we really needed to give notice on because it had gone up to full price so that was costing a fortune as well so yeah we needed to really get out as soon as we could but it's fine and we're in and that's all that matters we'll get there we'll get sorted but we still do have a few bits that we just couldn't, we didn't have time to get um, with the van because they had to take it back. Everything that's in the storage will fit in cars, which is all my mirrors. <laughs> and then there's just a lot of other shit and it's like, I've got so much shit already and I've got nowhere to put it. Like, I don't need more shit. So I could do a really sorting some of this out before that comes. But anyway, I'm rambling again. Um, I think this video is just going to be like a, like little updates because we're not doing anything. Like I said, we're having to stay in all day for Virgin Media. That's turned up. And then I've got like a granddad chair. Blake's on it at the minute. I don't know if you can. There. Um, it was my dad's. And when my mama died, he, um, he, didn't, he didn't want it. He was moving. So we were like, oh, we'll have it. But... It's quite granddaddified. So what I've done is I've bought a throw for it, not a throw, like a cover for it from Amazon in like a navy blue. It looks really nice and I'm hoping it fits. So then we've got like the gray three seater, then with like the blue and then we'll get some cushions. And then, yeah, it, we'll see. And then I'm gonna get a, a nice rug with some gray and like blue in it, I think. I don't know, we can't decorate for a year anyway, so we can't do anything to the walls. Oh, excuse my eye, if you can see that. I've been pitching it. It is evening. We've had no one come from Virgin Media, so... Thank you for watching, bye! <laughs> yeah, we've had nobody come from Virgin Media to see if they can get the internet up and running any sooner. They were due to come between 10, no between one and six it's now like half seven or what time is it i don't even know what time it is but it's past the time my eye looks really bad not come like i had a knock at the door earlier and it was the sofa and then another knock and i'm like oh yeah it's that <laughs> it wasn't it we just did on the delivery of some other stuff like for storage and that everybody needs wardrobes because in our previous house like there were we had a lot of stuff built in so we've literally got no wardrobes and you can imagine how much it costs to get everybody like a proper wardrobe. So I've just ordered, you know some of them, um, the like the rails and then but they've got like a canvas cover over them. So they are like a wardrobe but they're like, they're not a proper wardrobe. I've ordered everybody, well I've ordered seven. I've ordered one each for everybody and then spare for like towels and stuff but looking at them there's absolutely no way all of my stuff is going to fit in probably 10 of them i don't know i hope they look a bit bigger when they're put up than what they do on the box the boxes are small david's at work there's a night game so he'll not be back till later on yeah i'm gonna end this here just as like a little update vlog because i'm not really vlogged vlogged have i i've just 
talk to the camera. <laughs> Sorry if it's been a bit meh and I've, there's been a lot of ums and, and whatnot in it. Like when you don't vlog for a while, it takes a few days to get back into the rhythm of the vlogging. So yeah, I'm gonna be rusty. What's that? Three bob. I'm gonna be rusty for a few days, uh, but we'll get there. Oh, I, just, I just want the internet. I really want the internet. I can't believe from like when we arranged for it to be installed, it was like nearly three weeks until the engineer can come out and now it's two weeks and then they were meant to come today just to check and yeah they've not turned up. I'm gonna stop moaning, I'm gonna start rambling, I don't think I've got anything else to say or update but yeah I'm definitely gonna sit down tonight and think of a plan to move forward to work out how we sort this out because like I was saying earlier can you imagine like the amount of stuff that we've got that were in the attic that were um, in the garage outside that were in like the storage places that we had in the house there and we've got all of that stuff brought it here and we've got no attic no garage and we're only two little cupboards like what do we do with that stuff get a skate be ruthless and sell a lot of stuff but in the meantime try and manage it the best we can look at storage solutions but it's all going to take time isn't it it doesn't just come overnight like we're going to go to Ikea at some point when we can, but then obviously David's working as well. Try and work out storage. I don't know, anyway, I want to go, I want to stop moaning because this is an exciting time and we've finally got our house and I love it and yeah, I just, it's just overwhelming. It needs sorting. Uh, even if I can just get every room kind of straight so you can walk in and not be bombarded with bin liners, boxes, suitcases, beds that are not made up, like, oh, even the bathroom, there's, a, there's nothing like, there's not like a basin by the sink or anything, so we're, we're like literally having to start a lot from scratch, really. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again soon for the next video. I will vlog again over the next couple of days, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. Um, so you can just see our progress uh, and I might show you in the rooms, <laughs> the dreaded rooms. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!